Welcome, Sean. We're looking forward to hearing from you today. Why don't you take a moment to introduce yourself? Who are you? What institution are you representing? What degree are you working on right now? And where are you from? Hi, my name is Sean Bullock, OSU student, and I'm studying mechanical engineering. And I hail from a small town called Grants Pass, Oregon. It's a small town in Southern Oregon. We have an in and out now, so y'all should stop by. Yeah, and I'm excited to be here representing my startup, Slap Weights. Thank you. That's awesome. So you let us right into it. Tell us what is Slap Weights. The slap Weights is a small two and a half pound add-on weight that can be easily added to any dumbbell, creating intermediate weights between the standard five pound dumbbell increment gap. Ultimately, oftentimes lifters, when they're in the gym, they'll find that the current weight that they've got is like a little bit too light and they're ready to go to the next weight. But the next five pound increment is actually a little bit too heavy. And this can cause quite the predicament. And ultimately we're looking to solve this issue by providing a two and a half pound intermediate step, allowing lifters to have a more steady progression in their training and reduce their risk of injury while improving their gains. I've got to know, what inspired you to take on this project? Yeah, so really the big moment for me was last summer, I was in the gym, training, doing some overhead shoulder press, and I was in this exact situation. The current weight I had was a little bit too light. It wasn't very challenging, but the next weight was a bit too heavy, right? And so I went ahead, tried that next weight, and when I was completing that last rep, I just got this sharp pain in my neck and, and then I basically strained myself. And for the next two weeks, whenever I'd like exert myself at all, like I'd do any sort of exercises, I would get these sharp headaches. And really that was the moment for me when I was like, you know what, somebody has got to do something about this problem because really being taken out of commission for those two weeks was not great for my progress. And I know that's a problem that pretty much the vast majority of people that go to the gym experience. Uh, to me, I just figured somebody's got to solve it. So it might as well be me. <laughs> that is innovation at its finest. You mentioned we earlier. Tell us more about your team. How did you guys get connected with each other? And do you have a support system outside of just your fellow students? Yeah, uh, I'm working with a great team of three other colleagues um, that are not able to be here today for scheduling reasons. However, they're a really passionate group of folks. We've got Chance Say Chow doing all the video stuff. We've got Caitlin Vanderberg Rolls doing all of our sewing and helping with the product design. And we also have Daniel Borden, Dave. He's doing all the marketing stuff to really help get our product off the ground. And the four of us combined with my added mechanical engineering background with design and all that jazz. We're making quite, quite the good team here and we're making a lot of progress toward achieving our goal of developing the ultimate two and a half pound add on weight. We just met through our network. I met Chance my freshman year on campus. We became close friends. And then I met Caitlin through a class as well. And I met Daniel through another startup project I was working on a while ago. But yeah, and we're all a good group of friends now. So yeah, great to be working with them. And then, yeah, as far as outside of the students, thanks to Invent Oregon, I'm now working with Leo Ochoa. He's been a fantastic resource for us as we navigate how to get to market with our product and also guiding the prototyping process. So between this group of students and and Leo, we're a pretty powerful team here. That's always incredible to hear people come together from so many different backgrounds and programs in order to build something really fantastic. Even though it sounds like you've really built a lot of diversity into the team, what are some of the big obstacles that you foresee being able to get this off the ground? At the end of the day, the biggest thing is most of the core of team members are pretty much first time entrepreneurs. We haven't built anything significant before and at the end of the day, going at it for the first time is quite daunting. So that's why it's so helpful to have Leo on the team to guide us and 
direct us through this process as somebody who has successfully raised money on Kickstarter and developed the product and manufactured it and everything. At the end of the day, the name of the game is connecting with advisors and such, which Invent Oregon has been very helpful with. I'd say that's the main thing, just getting that experience on the team through advisors that are wiser. You represented your university in the 2022 Invent Oregon Finals. What was your push to come back and try again with a new project? Ultimately, I think that the Invent Oregon competition is a fantastic opportunity for young innovators to be able to have the space to develop their ideas. And also, more importantly, I'd almost say is connect with other fellow students and people in the entrepreneurship space. I think in order to be successful, it's really important when it comes to entrepreneurship to have a strong network. And I think Invent Oregon is a great place for innovators to come together and meet each other and collaborate on things. So yeah, I'm happy to be back working on a new project. That's fantastic. What does the team really hope to gain from taking this through Invent Oregon in the end? What do you hope to leave with as a team? In addition to just developing our project, I think the, the biggest thing is just developing those skills long-term. I think something that's so great about this is that when you're working with these coaches and mentors and just working on your project, not only are you developing a, a certain venture, but you're also developing skills that can be translated to all sorts of different things, both within the spheres of entrepreneurship and also other spheres as well, such as just standard corporate careers and whatnot. So I think just having the opportunity to connect with other innovators and learn new skills and exercise those is just such a fantastic opportunity and i are just hoping to leave with that juicy knowledge. I love that. I love that. I'm curious, what's the most important thing you want the judges to understand about your innovation, what you're working on? What sets you guys apart? I'd say that um, the biggest thing is that slap weights is much more than just a product. It's a brand and really our brand ethos is truly encapsulated by and symbolized by our slap weights product. And it is that we value incremental constant progress. And this is something that not only applies when you're in the gym, but also in life when it comes to the environment. And I think that our product is very symbolic of that idea of just always moving forward, taking small steps toward achieving an ideal best self, best world. And I think that's something that's powerful about our project that sets us apart. That's tremendous. I definitely think it does as well. Knowing that you're going through this as you yourself are a young entrepreneur, young innovator, what is important to you to see from the other teams when it comes to how they're de developing and running their businesses? Yeah, I'd say the biggest thing when it comes to anything, any sort of new product is thinking about two big things, the customer and the impact on the planet, because at the end of the day, products are there to serve customers. And at the end of the day, by working with your customers and working to think, how is my product not only impacting them, but also the environment? that is essential for not only providing great service, but also leaving a healthy impact on the world. Sean, that is incredibly inspiring. Thank you so much for being with us today, for joining us. We can't wait to see what is next for you and where you take slap weights. Thank you so much. Thank you.